I've got a Samsung Galaxy A53 5G Android phone and a bunch of lapel microphones. The trouble is that the mics have 3.5mm jacks and the Samsung has got a USB-C connector. So how do you get these two to go together? Hi and welcome to the channel. Pretty soon, all new smartphones and other rechargeable devices that use a wired charger are going to have to have USB-C connectors because of a new European Union rule. But right now, there's a ton of lapel mics out there with 3.5mm jacks. Obviously, we need an adapter. After a bit of online research, I bought a few different USB-C headphone jack adapters to test with my Samsung Galaxy A53 5G phone. The two that worked best for me were the Zoomi and the Lamscat. If I had to choose between them, I would go with the Zoomi adapter because it has got lots of positive feedback from actual users. So that's the one I'm going to demonstrate and test with three mics that have got 3.5mm jack plugs. You can see that it's a Y-splitter type of adapter. The USB-C connector plugs into the phone. Then you have two short cables, each with a connector on the end. One is a 3.5mm TRRS headphone jack socket that I'll plug the microphones into. The other is a USB-C socket to allow charging of your phone whilst you're recording. I'm going to test the Zoomi adapter with three external microphones with 3.5mm plugs to record onto my Galaxy A53 5G. I've chosen the iRig Recorder app to record with because it includes a live level meter and a level slider should I need to adjust the audio level. The three microphones that I'll be using will be an Omnidirectional Audio-Technica ATR3350 lapel mic with a TRS jack, an Omnidirectional Movo LV1 lapel mic with a TRRS jack, and finally a Deity V-Mic D3 Super Cardioid Mini Shotgun mic with a TRRS jack. The Deity mic has a smart output that, when connected to a recording device, handshakes with it to auto-configure the output to match the recorder. So it's going to be interesting to see whether it works here. So let's get into this. The Zoomi USB-C to headphone plug adapter goes into the USB-C port on the phone. Next, the TRRS jack from the microphone plugs into the headphone socket of the adapter. With a mic that has a TRS jack, a TRS to TRRS adapter is required between the Zoomi USB-C adapter and the microphone's jack. The phone will detect that an external microphone has been connected and it'll be made available for any of the recording apps to use. I'm going to record a nursery rhyme with each of the microphones in my voice booth. Although I'll normalise the levels, there won't be any other processing. So here we go. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, her lamb was sure to go. Bar bar black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. So, the Zoomi adapter seems to work fine. It lets you connect a lapel mic to an Android phone and record without any problems. And I think the mics do sound the way they do when I normally connect them to my Canon EOS R6 mirrorless camera. Obviously, each of the microphones has its own sound, and although this isn't meant to be a microphone shootout, I would say that I like the clarity of the Deity Super Cardioid mic. My second choice is the Audio-Technica, which has more of a bass presence. The Movo LV1, however, I felt sounded a little bit thin. But remember, these were all unprocessed, and I know that they can be tweaked to sound much better. Let me know in the comments which mic you like best. Now, at this point, I do need to reveal that I did have a problem with one of these microphones. 
Although the Zoomi adapter worked perfectly with my lapel mics, I did have an issue with the Deity V Mic D3. The recording you just heard was in fact my fourth attempt. My first attempt sounded like this. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, her lamb was sure to go. Another recording had clicking sounds in the background. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, her lamb was sure to go. There wasn't any consistency, and in one recording, the clicking would appear, then stop for a while, and then start again. Since I have two of these Deity mics, I tried swapping them over, but it was the same story with the second mic. It also only recorded properly some of the time. I did wonder whether it might be the recording app that was causing the problem, so I switched to using the Open Camera app, but that didn't make a difference either. The Deity microphone is a really good mic, and although I did get it to work with the Zoomi adapter one out of four tries, when you're working with clients or trying to create content, that's not good enough. You need to know that your equipment is going to work first time when you hit the record button. So if you want to use a three and a half millimeter lapel microphone with a Android phone, then the Zoomi USB-C to headphone jack adapter works really well. With the Deity mic, it was less successful. I've not tested any other on-camera microphones, but I'm guessing that if they have a standard audio output instead of one that auto-configures itself, then it might work fine. But I don't know for sure. If you try it yourself, leave a comment and let me know how you got on. Hopefully, you found this video useful and interesting. If so, hit the like button. To see more content that helps you record your own audio and videos, then subscribe and click the notification bell. For in-depth articles, you can visit my website, DIYvideostudio.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me again soon.